TV. We are Christian missionaries, media missionary platform of Refs Family Outreach Mission. By His grace, today with us is our brother, Pastor Stephen Imaji Adachi. We have been together for the past 30 years. And he was there at the very beginning of this ministry in our secondary school days to our early days in the polytechnic. And as time goes by, we dispatch and everybody went for going a pastor. Today he is a pastor at Christ Embassy. And many of us at that time are pastors today to the glory of God. Pastor Stephen Adaji is going to be our guest today who is going to be talking to you on Christian missionary. And I have strong belief that God will use him to bless you and the body of Christ at large in the name of Jesus. As you listen and as you watch this podcast, God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are participating on this podcast. Uh, I would like to say a very big thank you to my brother, Pastor Onuche for this opportunity granted me and also a big thank you to all members of the Rose family for still keeping up the faith that we have several years ago started and professed all these years. The Lord grant us even more grace to do more in the name of Jesus Christ. And I would like to also thank those that are responsible for my welfare spiritually. I would thank President highest team president Oya Kilome for his love and kindness and teachings over the years. That's I'm grateful, sir. The topic I have on hand right now is becoming a missionary Christian. And before I go further, I would like to say a word of prayer. Father, I thank you for granting us this awesome time in your presence. I thank you for the mission that you have laid upon our hearts and the topic we are having to share this month of October. Lord, let at the end of this month, the desire, expectation be granted unto us and our target will be achieved in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the hearers be blessed. Let the speaker be blessed. Thank you for stirring our spirit towards mission in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, my name is Stephen. Imaji Adaji, uh, pastoring a church in um, Adama State, Christ Embassy, precisely. And uh, I'm grateful that I'm on board to share with us the little that and the much, it will, the much of impact it will make because it's God's word. Becoming a missionary Christian is a broad topic because it's all encompassing and is dynamic in its nature is also a very crucial and important uh, topic to create awareness in the body of Christ as we are with the soon return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It has been uh, very evident owing to the current happenings around the world that the church at a particular time slept Bible says why the why the why people sleep the enemy so tears and a lot of things have taken place but thank God for the awakening the Lord has really stirred up in the heart of so many prominent sons and daughters of the kingdom and a lot has been achieved over the few years since 2020 up to today. Now, becoming a missionary Christian has a great deal to do with our relationship and our work of faith. I can't go to the street and get somebody to go to the nearby village or send them to China, send them to Afghanistan to go and preach the gospel. So 
what I'm saying in essence is before we start talking about being a missionary Christian is very important we start from the basis to be a missionary in the Christian faith you must be born again filled with the Holy Spirit you must be born of the Word of God and it should be uh, the Bible standard there's a standard that God has given to us in entering to that relationship with God Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the Father except but by me and he told us what we should do for God so loved the world that he gave it to the God his own that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and then he says uh, in John chapter 1 verse 12 he said to us many that receive him to them he gave the right and that right in his sense is not just a right but authority to be called the sons of God authority that gives you backing to go for him authority that establishes you and give you the credential that when you appear in a village in a local locality in the community in a nation your presence will be announced a missionary a Christian missionary is not anybody anyhow is an emissary is an ambassador hallelujah excuse me he is an ambassador of Christ a representation of heaven an assigned delegate empowered to convert souls empowered to establish the kingdom of God in the hearts of men wherever he or she is found so many people have traveled abroad they missed into the thing nobody knows what they are doing there's no record of their performance but why in Nigeria they were on fire years ago the, the West brought Christianity to us missionaries were all over this place I grew up as I, I, I can attest to the fact that uh, there was a Mr. Dixon that came around I met him a white man very popular Debo Spencer I knew all of them because my dad also worked as missionary too while in Nigeria here worked with the white so I, at least there are some of them that I knew but what I'm trying to say is this what happened the fundamental is not being taken into cognizance and that is what I'm going to read right now from Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 I read from the New Living Translation if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved those days are long gone where people make practical open declaration of their faith in Christ but we are putting the fire up right now you don't need any ordination you don't need any confirmation the only confirmation is you need is this scripture I just read if you are born again and you are filled with the Holy Spirit you are a missionary don't wait for any confirmation start working don't wait for anybody to send you to abroad start now in your home there are a lot of people dying the time is short short because the church age is closing up the church age is in hours according to, to God's calendar it's closing in we don't have time so we are not waiting for who will send me to America no where I am I'm preaching in my office I preach I convert people I'm in the office right now I can attest to how many people gave their life to Christ on my desk in the open view of everybody I don't it, it was mine as long as the Holy Spirit said do it I get it done as I have a lead in my spirit to, to lead them to Christ I do it why? because of the urgency that's attached to it our mind must be open to this part of the mission we are here as ambassadors we are representing the embassy of God on earth and heaven is banking on us angels can't do this we are the one that will do it now uh, David cried in, cried out to God in Psalm 67 verse 2 I would like to read also from the Passion Translation he said send us out all over the world so that 
everyone everywhere will discover your ways and know who you are and see your power to save hallelujah send us all around the world look at those definite prayer that this man prayed he said send us out all over the world so that everyone everywhere will discover your ways it's not what we are talking about jesus came he said the kingdom of god is here in the midst of the the kingdom of god has come he came with the kingdom that means he came with the doctrine he came with the teaching he came with the lifestyle he came with the custom of heaven and when he brought his good news the good news what is the good news in in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 to 19 look at what paul wrote he said this means that anyone from the new living translation this means that anyone who belongs to christ has become a new person the old life is gone a new life has begun and all of this is a gift from god who brought us back to himself through christ and god has given us this task that is the that is the mission is a task it's an assignment as you are a believer you have been given a task what is the task of reconciling people to him he has reconciled you your banks your books are balanced with him what about you there's someone in your sphere of contact jesus will not come now and be doing the same thing you you were not converted by jesus Christ. excuse me someone preached to you so that you can preach to others you are not saved to remain the way you are you are saved to develop grow mature by the word of god get filled with the holy ghost speak with other tongues and move into action you are not saved to sleep and wake up in heaven tomorrow no god is a businessman a master businessman he's a master strategist you are saved so like your sphere of contact can be reached by the gospel you were saved so that your family can be saved remember that jailer he said uh, what will i do that i will be saved me and my household and paul led him to christ where are those days we are stirring up the fire again today is the day of salvation you are holding a key of salvation to that man's life there's no name under heaven whereby we can be saved by the name of jesus christ missionary christian is on the go the word in Matthew 28 says 28, 18, 19, and 20. Go ye therefore. There is a go. It's a task. Go. And what are you doing? Go into all the world and preach the gospel. And this is the gospel as I want to read from this place. Now it says, For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. We are not carrying the gospel of condemnation. You are not going out there with the gospel of tarnishing people's image. Yes, you speak the truth as the Spirit of God gives. He's the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the Lord of the harvest. He's the one in charge of the harvest. We are, we are asking for missionary Christians. We are equally asking for laborers to be trusted into the field. The harvest is plenty. Look at ripe souls and low hanging fruits. People are ready. Look at the economy of the country. Look at the situation in the world. It's all in Nigeria, all over the world. There are crises everywhere. These are the days of the end of the age. The church age is closing in. And a lot of pressure, pressure from every side. Opportunity for you to minister the gospel. Opportunity to win that soul. Opportunity to talk to that neighbor of yours, that family member, that colleague of yours in the office. Opportunity to talk to that person on the street that you have coming across every day. God is bringing them your way. Don't sleep over them. Open your mouth and say something. What would you give to someone that is close by you? Would you share the love of Jesus? Or you just feel unconsigned? As long as you are born again, there is no point to wait. Go ahead. You see? And the message is that He loves them. He's not holding anything against them. In Christ, their sins have been nailed to the cross. They need to know.